All right, this is a video I've been planning to do for a while. And I decided, since I've heard from several different people, that their Michaels are no longer going to carry gallery glass. And we use gallery glass so much to make miniature food. So I thought I would do a comparison. Most of the, a lot of the Michaels that I'm hearing that are dropping this are replacing it with just the Martha Stewart. My Michael still carries gallery glass, and they, so far anyway, there's no signs they're not going to carry it. But I picked up, I already had these, I picked up some Martha Stewart, and I picked up, they also carry deco art glass stain. So I decided to do a side-by-side -side comparison of all three of these glass stain paints, and see what we can determine about how well they work, and what the you know just a little bit about them now I will say the prices are pretty comparable the gallery glass display was marked at two dollars and seventy nine cents a bottle at my store the deco art was two ninety nine and the Martha Stewart was thirty percent off and with the thirty percent off it was two forty four I'm not gonna do the math for you you can figure out the math on that <laughs> I've, I've had a head cold for a couple of weeks and I'm my brain is not functioning for doing math right now but so they're all in a comparable price range <clears throat> now since the two colors of gallery glass that I use the most are amber and clear I have a clear in each one of these neither of these brands have an amber they both have brown and they have orange well I already had the brown one from the deco art for another project I was trying it out on a few about a month ago or so. So I decided to get the orange and the Martha Stewart, kind of try both colors and see what we get. So let me move these off to the side, let me get them open, the, the ones that are new, get them open so I know they're working. And I'll show you how I set up when I'm doing a comparison for myself, because I do this a lot. This is actually a process that I use when I'm trying new products, especially if I'm replacing an old product with a new product. So let me move these and open them up and I'll show you how this works. Alright, everything's all open and now I have to prepare for this. I've made a few clay items. Um, I didn't worry about scale on these. What I did was I made three batches so I have a control. We know what this looks like. We're going to do these. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a slice of bacon cane. And I just quickly made up basically the fried egg from the fried egg video. They're a little big for scale, but I wanted to have something I could do so we could see how it would work. And the clay was a little dirty. That's why it was laying on my table. But I didn't feel like digging out the, the good batch of clay for this. So I'm not using brushes. When I'm doing small amounts of glass paint, I just keep a wet wipe and use my finger. And that's what I'm going to do today. So let's start with the clear. Now the clear in the gallery glass, we know, is a very white paint. And I'm doing this on another thing we need to do. We're doing gallery glass in this corner, so I'm going to label this is gallery glass. Oh, and by the way, when I put these on, I adhered the clay to the plate with some TLS. That way, even if I bump this, before I get a chance to check on it, I'll know for sure which is which. All right, let's do the deco art next. Let's do all the clears and then, so we'll label that one DA for deco art. We've got the clear. One thing I find interesting on the clear one for this is the paint itself is clear. So that's kind of cool. Now we'll do Martha Stewart over here. And the Martha Stewart one, I think the Martha Stewart one had the most redundant packaging because the entire bottle was, let's see if I can get it to even come out, there we go. The entire bottle was wrapped in plastic and then it had a little pull-off thingy on the opening of the bottle. Now this one is very difficult to squeeze. I don't know if that's just because it's new, but I'll say that for it. It is a very hard bottle to control. All right. Now let's go back and do the bacon. We'll start with our gallery glass and do our bacon. 
in amber. I'm going to put it on the tray. A couple of reasons. Number one, it makes it easier to apply it. Now, like I said, I'm going to use my finger. I'm just going to wipe it on here. And then we'll also see how it dries on the on there. Okay, wipe my finger off. Now, I don't remember if I said anything earlier or not. I, I bought the brown of this earlier for another project. And it is a very dark brown, so. But we'll see how it works. And orange. I wish that one of these brands would come out with an amber. If uh, it's going to be hard to get the gallery glass, amber is the color I use the most. So that is going to be, if it's hard to get, that's going to be a problem. All right, I'm going to leave these. Let's, let's get down to this close up. Let's get a close view of each one. So, wet, here's how the gallery glass looks complete with my sloppy writing. Here's the deco art. It's quite a dark brown. And I actually use this deco art brown to fill the coffee cups. If you've watched the breakfast videos and noticed the pictures of the table set with the breakfast, I filled the, ta the some of the cups up, or one of the cups up, with that paint. And here's the Martha Stewart. And it's very orange. And it's kind of separated. That's not covering very well. Let's see if I can put another little bit on. But it's like, it's not separate. It's kind of separating out. So I'll let these dry. Uh, I'm not sure how long these are going to take to dry. I don't see. Let's see if it says. It doesn't really say. Oh, and by the way, with the Martha Stewart paint, they had lots of different ones. I went with the Gloss Transparent rather than any of the others because I thought that was probably closer to what we are, have used in the gallery glass. So, like I said, I'll let these dry and then I'll be back. Alright, so these are all dry now. Um, let's see what we can see here. And we know how the gallery glass is. Let's get closer again. I kind of wide angled this so you can see the whole thing. Let's see. I Definitely the color is much better on the gallery glass, especially the amber. The clear is, you know, we know what these are like. It just gives a nice cooked color. So we go over here to the deco art. To me, the clear is not near as shiny. So that's not going to be a good clear, I don't think. It's okay, but it's definitely not as shiny as the gallery glass. The brown is definitely too dark for a cooked look. I can see it for other uses, and like I said, I used it for coffee in coffee cups the other day, and it takes many, many layers, but it does make a good, it's good that way. Um, theirs is just not as shiny. I'm not getting the nice shine on the, and it feels, when I feel the two, like I run my finger on the bacon here, and I run my finger on the gallery glass bacon, this one feels rough, almost like it's got some kind of almost like a sandiness, almost like running your finger on a, a really fine piece of sandpaper or something. That's just not going to work very well for most applications. And we get down here to Martha Stewart. Now, definitely too orange. And possibly we could mix her orange and her brown together to get something close to amber, but that's an awful lot of work. And I don't know if it would be, I don't think it would be very good. I still don't think that would give a good color. Her clear is nice and shiny. The egg is definitely shiny, not as shiny as gallery glass, but it's it's shiny. And it's smoother. It's the gallery glass is still much smoother than the uh, other brands. But the Martha Stewart is a better product, I think, than the Deco Art. Overall, I think I would rank. I think overall my there are downsides to both the um, the Deco Art and the Martha Stewart. Gallery Gloss is still my favorite and definitely still number one and if it becomes harder to find I will find a way for it to be easy to get. I'm uh, looking at some options right now. I've been online looking at some options to see what I can do to to make it easier for people to get it. But as far as the bottles go 
out of the Martha Stewart versus the Deco Art. I like the bottle on this one, although this one, because the opening is so big, it's, um, I think this could get away from you. But on the other hand, this one was so small, I had trouble getting it out. I mean, this is a thin liquid. It shouldn't have such a small hole that it's hard to get out of the bottle. Um, so, Martha Stewart, I guess, is probably, it's a better product than the Deco Art. But they're both trailing way, way behind the gallery glass. So, look for gallery glass. It's made by Plaid. Um, if Michaels does discontinue carrying it, it is going to be harder to find, obviously. I don't know if Hobby Lobby has it, because we don't have Hobby Lobby. Um, the nearest Hobby Lobby to me is almost 200 miles away, which I'm thinking I need to make a trip. I need a road trip, but... Um, Gallery Glass is much superior. It's a much better product. The packaging is better. Um, the, the size of the nozzle is much better. It's because of the shape of the bottle. I like the flat bottle. It's really easy to control. Um, the Martha Stewart one, like I said, it's hard to get out because it's so tiny. Even, and also the, the gallery glass, you've got two pieces. You've got a bottle, you've got a lid. Both of the others, you have multiple pieces. You have a lid. You have this nozzle thing. Let's see if I can get this off without spilling. And then you have this. Well, the packaging on this one was overkill in my opinion. The whole thing was wrapped over with a, a shrink wrap plastic. And then there was a paper foil, whatever, seal on the top of this bottle. So this is kind of a pain to get out. I don't think you need that much packaging. And like I said, too hard to get out. And this lid is really hard to get lined up and get back in. I can see where that little teeny tiny nozzle is going to get bent pretty quickly. The Deco Art, the uh, seal on it was just a foil, paper foil, whatever seal on this opening here. This one, the product is thinner and this opening is way bigger. So I can see where this two, this is going to get away from us very easily. If you're using this brand, I recommend putting it out in a pool on a separate surface and then using your finger or a brush or something to apply it most of the time. Um, looks like they're all the same size package. They're all two fluid ounce packaging. So, first place, distant second, and third. That's my, that's my feeling about these. Um, I would say shop for gallery glass. It's the colors better, the finish is better, the packaging is better. Just go go out and find it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Check out the blog post. I did a lot more details in the blog post about how I did the test and my feelings about it. So check the blog post out and. Um, I'll see you Sunday for another video. Talk to you later. Bye.